Sasamahan kita kahit isang eroplano ang agwat nating dalawa. Dahil kung nakakapagsalita lamang ang paliparan, ikukwento niya kung ilang beses akong lumingon pabalik sa iyo nung araw na ako'y lumisan. Papalubog ang araw noon at dahan-dahan lumulubog din ang puso ko sa kalungkutan. Ayaw sana kitang iwan. Gusto kitang samahan sa mga umagang nagmamadali ka papasok sa eskwela. Gusto kitang damayan sa mga gabing nahihirapan ka sa matematika. Gusto kitang yakapin sa tuwing gusto mo nang sumuko dahil akala mo'y wala kang talento sa pagpinta. Ngunit anak, gusto kong ipaalam sa iyo na ikaw ang nagpinta ng buhay ko. Nang dumating ka, naging makulay ang mundo ko. Ang dating mga baluktot na linya ay naging tuwid. Ang dating madilim na larawan ay nabigyan ng liwanag. Kaya anak, gusto pa rin kitang samahan sa bawat mong karanasan, sa mga tagumpay at kabiguan. Sasamahan kita hanggang marating mo ang mga ulap, hanggang maabot mo ang iyong mga pangarap. Hello, Ma. Hello, anak. Sorry, kakatapos lang ang trabaho ni Mama. Okay lang po, Ma. Kakatapos lang din naman po namin maglaro. Anak, sasamahan kita. Kahit isang eroplano ang agwat nating dalawa.
continues to address the challenge of quality in education in the new normal, we firmly believe that access to education is a first step to achieving a bright future. As we close the gap and shift from access to quality, DepEd Cagayan de Oro's battle cry to these challenges is CDO, competence, dedication, optimism. The new vision's mantra, which is embedded in all programs, projects, and activities. These core values have transcended into the lives of the Kagayanu learners as they endure the rigors of various learning modalities in school. Today, we shall bear witness to the success of these learners, which is a clear manifestation of such CDO influence, competence, dedication and optimism brought them to this point, along with the support of their parents, teachers, and friends. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the virtual graduation ceremony of CDO NHS Balulang Annex for school year 2020 to 2021. May I request everyone to please stand for the singing of the national anthem to be followed by our invocation through an audio-visual presentation. Kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Bayang maghihiyo pero sa silang alam, alam ng puso sa itipoy buhay. Lupang hinirang, tuyan ka ng maghihi, sa manlulupi, ito pa sisihin. Sa lagat at punok, sa simoy at sa langit o mukha May lagang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal Ang isa't ng matawat mo'y tagumpay na nagbibigay Ang bituin na araw na kailan pa may magbibig Lupa ng araw na ipasipa Buhay na hiksapin ko Ang hidaya na pagbay ng api Ang mamatay ng lahir sa'yo
daw mahigugmaon ugis sa magbabaya iyan na punan ho ana iman ha anlaw ag umawon day imo mo kinasingkasing ta igpauma day imo sa pagpasalamat day hulangon ha panginahanglanon igpauma day daan imo sa agpanayon day sa maayad ha kaginhawa maayad ha kaglawa maayad ha kagtima yan day daan ag panayon ha ipadiyo kay ho mga madaot kahanlok daw kaguon ikahid o ka ikaw dagidagi sa pagtuo daw pagsalig day ho mga kamatuuran mo Hasikaw gayod permanente taghari taliwada og pagtalig uma da pagkuyanap kusunod-sunod daw nagkalain-lain hamatang ho pangitabo kagubot kalisdanan daw padaot ipaaha ipagudam daw ipaambit ho mga utawno duol ho banua nasod daw tibuok kalibutan sagagaw kahidpo kalinaw daw kaliguno Ta iyan man timaan ng mga kahanggin na pasensya. grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from all our fears. We pray that you guide the people, especially those tasked, to find a cure for this disease. And for us who are entrusted to take care of our children in the schools, classrooms. Though they cannot be allowed to go to the schools, we ask your protection and guidance that we will still be able to deliver the learning that they need to have amidst this pandemic. Believing that no one should be left behind in this our spiritual journey. For the good of our children, and for the good of the country and for all the people in the world. And this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. 
sent me to help with my brothers and feel the darkness with your love. The school principal, Sir Alfredo C. Tonko Jr., will now formally open the Grade 12 Graduation Ceremony of CDO NHS Malulang Annex and present the candidates for graduation. At exactly 1330 hours, July 15, 2021, the virtual graduation ceremonies of Cagayan de Oro National High School, Balulang Annex, is hereby declared in session. On behalf of the administration, faculty, staff, and students, I welcome all of you to this virtual graduation ceremonies of school year 2020-2021. We would like to extend our felicitous thanks to the grade 12 students and their families at this event. Dr. Cherry May L. Limbaco, Career Executive Service Officer 5, Schools Division Superintendent of Cagayan de Oro City, I have the honor to present to you the 109 grade 12 candidates for graduation. They have satisfactorily completed the requirements for senior high school set forth by the Department of Education. And they are now ready for your confirmation. Today, formal files to Secretary Leonor Mancolis Briones, Mayor Oscar Moreno, my co teachers in Deped Cagayan de Oro City, the school administrators, our parents, stakeholders, and most of all, our learners. Good day. Before we we'll make the confirmation, let me walk you back to our journey and the lessons we gained. School year 2020 2021 has been an entirely different school year filled with extraordinary hard work, dedication, and passion for all school leaders, teachers, parents, and our learners in dealing and coping with the learning modalities to meet the most essential learning requirement. Despite the setbacks we have encountered during the onset of the pandemic, we persevered and continued armed with hope, courage, and determination. We had realizations along the way as we continued and believed in what we were doing. We complemented each other's talents and skills, drawn our strength, and worked collaboratively as mighty one. We have seen love and hope in action in all that we are doing and all that we continue to do. Indeed, we have perfectly embodied resiliency as we emerge much ready for any obstacles and challenges. With that, you have my greatest accolade. Congratulations, our learners. By the authority vested in me and upon the recommendation of your school principal and teachers, that you have satisfactorily completed the requirements of the K-12 basic education curriculum and complied the essential learning competencies prescribed by the Department of Education. I now confirm you as graduates of the Senior High School Program of the Department of Education for school year 2020-2021. 
Congratulations, you will now receive your diploma. Thank you, Dr. Jeremy L. Limbaco, our school's division superintendent for DepEd Division of Cagayan de Oro City. At this point, Sir James Mark B. Polo, Teacher 1, and Engineer Rigel O. Publico, Teacher 1, will now present the certificates and showcase our graduates respectively. Accountancy, Business and Management Clifford B. Baxarza Joelyn E. Beral Jovi Bernales Samira M. Bilangataw Cherry May O. Bonane Mark S. Cabusas Siti Isa H. Dimaporo Rujems M. Felicilda E.J. B. Felicilda Clary Ann M. Galarpe Christine Habinyao Roji B. Halagat K. Sophia G. Homo Princess Johanny R. Makarampat J. Mark Daniel D. Mendiola Angeline O. Mingo Cassandra D. Ngoho Kisha Irene D. Nolasco Brittany D. Pasigay Jonah May M. Pendre Genevieve F. Piquero Phoebe May O. Roa Liza R. Roa Humanities and Social Sciences Emmanuel Sheen B. Asosenas Carlene Tricia N. Bakan Regine A. Balangyao Aris Dave S. Banyas Sh 
Sheila Marie D. Berondo. Andrea Jean E. Buenaflor. Kate Francine D. Canoy. Audrey Kyle Christy Colobio. Marvin Cordova. Noemar A. De Los Reyes. John Louis B. Dikino. Kyla May L. Doliano. Maisy Child N. Hapson. Benji N. Mabailan. Lawrence R. Makale. Stephen G. Martinez. Jerlene May H. Nala. Mary Grace V. Osho. Brittany Lyle J. Polgo. Razel R. Relevo. Zazrael May P. Reyes. Maki June Sabinay. Kimberly Grace G. Vallejos. Aljan May Valespin. General Academic Strand Clarence Dave Q. Coloso Angeline B. Eslet Jabir P. Haji Akstan Ivy Jane B. Lugay Nasima B. Makapudi Clyde Andy T. Pakinggan Electrical Installation and Maintenance Sherwin Dave M. Bayer Maria Cristina Cassandra S. Square Arthur N. Dumaog Jr. Justin G. Felicia Jenaline B. Fernandez Luis P. Gencainco Jr. Suharto P. Lagindam Hans M. Mandunyahan
Jan Rio M. Mar. Rona Jane Pahilmagan Joel M. Pendre James Dennis S. Ricablanca Michael John S. Russell Delmar M. Sabido Home Economics Francine Aini M. Alberto Leonila L. Alisbo Aina S. Amatunding Rhea Jean Amora Tahera C. Banggan Brian Burt E. Garganera Richard Hamilton E. Lindayaw Kim J. S. Mahorenos Althea D. Mejos Aizara B. Mutia Samira C. Mutia Ronalyn M. Nala Grizel F. Osmenia Clint Andre T. Pakinggan Bonaflor S. Paraiso Amy N. Sanguenza Shielded Metal Arc Welding AJ Rich R. Alamo Joy P. Aniana Jishare Balanday Kyle Patrick D. Basalo Frances D. Cabilladas Kimberly Claire D. Dalondonan Aprits B. Emplio Robert E. Erreher Rhea Grace E. Gabonada James Patrick J. Garcia John Paul R. Gika Fernando Judel S. Ilaga
Jennifer S. Ilaga. Jeff Jansen F. Humawan. Mayrel May T. Molina. Christelle Joy M. Montecalvo. Jaika Montepalcon. Zenaida D. Pabayo. Cesar G. Pabilyaran Jr. Christian Jun Y. Paderan. Charity May D. Kiaman. Reggie S. Romea. Mark Nazer S. Arseno. John Agustin B. Tabian. Jenny Rose C. Balespin. Justin P. Vergara. Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically, where we've always thought We've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils 
and our learners this event would not have take would not be taking place um, at all and so thank you teachers your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed the assignments are correctly uh, implemented and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners so congratulations teachers for enduring for your patience for your love for our learners and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest for their cooperation and for their continuing continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education even as our children do not go to school your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers, by our school officials, but also by our officials in the Department of Education. We continually talk with local government units, especially in times of disaster, in times of great need for classrooms, for space, and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings uh, fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers, and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted, and even as your world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next but you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate and therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the department of education from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting, which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. 
I don't know if uh, you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents, the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds, which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires, say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker, of course, is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and underwent as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that, are, that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course, with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be opened because you are a graduate. 
you can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents, and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do, whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity, the door which will help you know more about this world, and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you. Congratulations to you parents and family members. Congratulations to you teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates. And we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do. God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. At this juncture, we will be hearing a special message coming from our regional director, Dr. Arturo B. Bayokot Cecil Ford. Let us all watch this. at matagumpay na araw po sa ating lahat. Mula dito sa amin sa kagawaran ng edukasyon sa Mihan ng Mindanao. Graduation, completion, or moving up ceremonies are testimonies of excellent coordination, genuine hard work, and great love. When the COVID-19 pandemic struck the world, hitting the various sectors including education, the Department of Education through the competent leadership of Secretary Leonor Magtolis Briones, firmly accepted the challenge to continue education, bravely wrestling with the challenges of the pandemic and unceasingly finding solutions to address any emerging problems. Amidst all these difficulties, emerged excellent coordination across all levels of governance and the different stakeholders with the teachers at the forefront of delivering the basic education learning continuity plan. And here they are, our learners, who willingly submitted themselves to blended distance learning, painstakingly learning the ways of the new learning landscape, and successfully accomplishing all their academic requirements through genuine hard work. But these successes would not have been possible if not for the great love of the parents and guardians who have been selflessly offering their prayers, time, and resources. In other words, the successes of our learners, our teachers, our leaders, and the Department of Education at large, with the unwavering support of all our stakeholders, are products of our collective decision to succeed as one family. 
On behalf of the entire DepEd Region 10, allow me to thank and congratulate everyone for this great feat which attests that DepEd indeed is on track. But just like what is said in our theme for this year's end of school year rights, strengthening quality education amid COVID-19 pandemic, we need to be on our toes. The COVID-19 pandemic is real and so are other education emergencies. All together, let us rise from this pandemic, recalibrate our learning continuity plans, and continue to deliver quality education for our learners, the heart of DepEd 10. Muli, binabati ko ang lahat ng nagtapos sa taong ito. Hangad namin ang inyong patuloy na tagumpay, anumang landas ang inyong tatahakin. Pagpalain nawa kayo ng poong may kapal. Marami pong salamat. Thank you, RD Art, for the inspirational message to all our graduates. To inspire our graduates, may I call in Ma'am Dina F. Gore, the Senior High School Coordinator, to introduce our guest speaker. Good day, everyone. Today is the fourth graduation ceremony of City UNHS Balulang Annex Senior High School Program. And at this point, I am very much honored and privileged to introduce to you our guest speaker for this fourth graduation ceremony. Farhana Hanani Makapanton is the first valedictorian of Balulang National High School from the pioneering batch of school year 2007 to 2008. She served as the SSG president twice and nominated as the first alumni president. She was awarded the Miss Sophie STI in 2011 and at the same time won as the second runner-up of Miss Nursing of STI in 2011. She was on the Dean's List in college and received her degree in English Literature and Certificate in Professional Education from Liceo de Cagayan University. She has an experience in customer service and teaching English to Japanese nationals. Her professional interests include Philippine and English literature and teacher English to speakers of other languages. She is currently a faculty of Southern De Oro Philippines College where she teaches Philippine, English, and world literature, business, and purposive communication in English subjects to all year levels. Ladies and gentlemen, let us give a virtual round of applause to our guest speaker, Ms. Farhana Hanani Makapanton. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Balulang National High School's virtual graduation ceremony. As an alumnus of the school, it is an honor to be invited to be your guest it is a very special day more than a decade has passed since i had my speech for a very first graduation ceremony and yet it still feels like it just happened yesterday the last time that i visited the school was just before the pandemic and i'm proud to say that balulang national high school has greatly improved since our time back in our day when cellular phones and internet were not yet a thing everything was simple we just had less than 10 classrooms and our campus was situated inside Balulang Elementary School. We didn't have smartphones, we didn't have access to computers, and internet connection used to be very expensive. But it was these inconveniences that made us more flexible and more resourceful. The information that we have gathered may be a bit limited but we still have acquired quality education with the help of the school. Nowadays, everybody has access to almost everything. We can do things virtually and in the comfort of our homes. We can talk for hours with our families, friends, and loved ones who live in overseas or in the nearby subdivision. We can do our research about anything that we are curious about, and we can even look for people who we want to connect with online 
The world has become smaller since then. Fortunately for the people who has access to the internet and smart gadgets, they're able to make things more convenient. From doing research to sending emails to video conferencing and so forth. But how about those people who still do not have access to technology? Are we going to left them behind? The answer is no. Blended learning has received a lot of criticisms. But as a teacher myself, I am listening and I can hear you. Studying and teaching amidst a pandemic can be very challenging. But think about it as a challenge that you need to pass. And not a problem that is meant to stay. This is what I always tell my students. We can still achieve quality education despite the current situation using the available resources that we have at our home, in our school. Some of us are on the verge of giving up, but we should always find the strength to keep going despite the current situation. We should not only worry about the academic standing of the students, but we should worry more about their mental health as well. For my fellow teachers, parents, and guardians, this is the time where the students need our guidance the most. For the students who are doing their best to overcome these challenges, claim it. You can make it soon and know that your efforts are being appreciated. Congratulations to all graduates and may God bless us all. Thank you very much, Nam, for that heartwarming message. At this point, we will now recognize the competence, dedication, and optimism of our learners in their journey on the quest for excellence. Mom Dina F. Barre, the SHS coordinator, will now present the awards for academic excellence. Roy James M. Felicilda E.J. B. Felicilda Janeline B. Fernandez Luis P. Jenkenko Jr. Jennifer S. Ilaga
Tomar relevo. Jezreel may be Reyes. Liza R. Roa. Kimberly Grace G. Vallejos. Algen May Valiespin. Congratulations to our academic awardees and their parents. A big hand for their exemplary achievements. For the message of gratitude, let us welcome the Batches representative, Ms. Kyla May Elduliani. Let us give her a round of applause. An exciting morning to the dynamic members of our CDO NHS Malulang Annex faculty and staff, proud parents and relatives, fellow students, and of course, my beloved batchmates. The happiest day is now within our grasp. Even if we are currently in our homes looking at our screens, I know you and I can still feel the overwhelming joy of this year's graduation. This school year has been quite challenging. It was far different from the ones we have experienced. The school life that we expected to happen all went down the drain and in turn made all of us stay in our respective homes. There was a lack of usual connections with our friends and somehow this made us feel weary and depressed. But here we are, my dear hybrid batchmates. We all deserve a pat on our backs and resounding applause because we have emerged victorious despite everything. This victory is dedicated to the men and women behind our backs, our families. Thank you so much for helping us through our schoolwork. Thank you for understanding that our chores come second only after our modules. Thank you for going to school without much complaining just to submit our outputs and receive our new modules. To the faculty and staff of CDO NHS Balulang Annex, thank you for keeping up with the one is to one ratio for our modules to ensure our safety against the virus. We know it was not easy to prepare our modules and check them religiously. We know it was not easy to call and text each one of us to inform and encourage. You are the epitome of grace under pressure. Thank you for willingly transforming our physical classrooms into digital classrooms that are open 24 seven for knowledge and personal concerns. To our classmates, Thank you for responding and reaching out. I know I may not say this often, but guys, I do miss you. I hope that whatever path you would take, college, business, and or work, you will bloom where you're planted. To God, thank you for not leaving us. We may not fully understand why this global pandemic happened, but we know that you will see us through this crisis. As we log off from the school year 2020 to 2021, I hope that each of us will remember that this is not yet the end. We still have to do our part as a citizen of our country and the world. We still have to follow the IATF health protocols inside and outside our homes so we will defeat this pandemic. And hopefully, we will all emerge even more victorious. Signing off is Kyla May Eldoliano telling you to keep safe and God bless. Thank you, Kyla, for that uplifting message of gratitude. Let us now watch this video for the Pledge of Loyalty to be led by the Supreme Student Government President, Ms. Maisie Child and Hapson. May I request my fellow graduates to please raise their right arm as we recite the Pledge of Loyalty. I do solemnly pledge to my country, alma mater, and my God, the utmost patriotism, loyalty, 
and faith, of which I am capable during my lifetime. To my country, I owe my nationality, and I promise to love, honor, and defend her to the best of my ability. To my alma mater, Balula National High School, I owe my formation and education, which I seek to repay by living up to her highest tradition. To God, I owe my birth and my being, and under his divine inspiration and guidance, I resolve to live a virtuous and just life of honor and service. So help me God. Hi to all our grade 12 graduates. This is uh, a culmination uh, of what you have gone through since elementary and then since high school and now you are crossing that bridge and from here you'll be going to college and uh, pursuing your uh, next career and uh, some of you may uh, will, will certainly pursue college some will pursue technical and vocational education but others will uh, 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 hopefully hopefully uh, uh, undertake uh, a, a, a good plan a good plan for your future education is very very crucial in a man's life no the education that we gather that we we achieve is the very foundation of what we will be tomorrow what we will be tomorrow is a product of what we do when we are young so that's why it's very important that education is given priority and in fact the government uh, ensures that education is given the biggest allocation as far as appropriation is concerned no? and on the part of the city government we have been doing precisely just that and uh, ensuring that we are able to address all the needs of our students and our children as we prepare them as we prepare you for a better tomorrow so congratulations to all of you the graduates to your parents to all your teachers and the members of the faculty to the department of education and to everybody who, have, who has taken part in your career congratulations this is a moment of victory a moment to celebrate but please stay safe stay healthy stay strong congratulations and good day everyone thank you very much the school principal sir alfredo c tonko jr will now acknowledge the various people behind the success of this virtual event and closing remarks The Cagayan de Oro National High School, Balunan Annex Administration, faculty, staff, and the rest of the educative community would like to extend our acknowledgement to those individuals and groups of people who made this virtual graduation a resounding success. To our local government unit, Obalulang, headed by Honorable Barangay Chairman Edwin E. Mekabani, and the rest of the men and women of the local government unit, our respective parents, our students, and above all, to the Almighty God, hope created this as an avenue for us to showcase the God-given talent. And with that, we are able 
to conquer the most important person in the whole world. And that is ourselves. And by conquering ourselves, I'd like to say that we are more than conquerors. To all of you, my salute. Thank you very much. Mabuhay tayong lahat at tayo ay kabilang dahil tayo ay nandito sa balulang. Thank you, Sir Fred. And that concludes our virtual graduation ceremony. Congratulations to all our graduates, awardees, and parents. May you all stay safe and healthy. With the singing of the Kamayan Yoro March, the graduation ceremony of CDO NHS Balulang Annex is hereby concluded. Ladies and gentlemen, the Kagayan Bioro March. <laughs>